Hi everyone, I'm Daniela. Welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're making the perfect Easter treat, mini egg cupcakes. This recipe incorporates the mini egg both in the batter of the cupcake and placed on top of the chocolatey ganache. So let's jump into the recipe. See the description below for a list of ingredients. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour 100 grams of mini eggs into a bag and smash them up. Into 165 grams of flour, add one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk them to combine, then set aside. In a large mixing bowl, cream together 115 grams of unsalted softened butter and 200 grams of sugar. Make sure to scrape down your bowl so all of the butter and sugar creams together really nicely. Once your butter mix is nice and creamy, add two eggs, one at a time. Then add in two teaspoons of good quality vanilla extract. Scrape down your sides again to make sure it's all well incorporated. Add in 120 grams of sour cream. The sour cream helps to activate the baking powder and gives a little extra moisture to these cupcakes. Stir your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients, being careful not to overmix. Once your mix has just about come together, throw in your crushed up mini eggs and give it a few more spins. You'll want to finish this mix off by hand, just stirring in any last little bits of flour. I've lined my muffin tins with these pretty pink cupcake papers. I like to use an ice cream scoop to portion out my batter. You just want to be sure to fill them no more than two thirds of the way full. And into the oven. These are going to bake from anywhere between 18 to 22 minutes, depending on your oven. You'll know they're done when you insert a skewer and it comes out clean. Let's get started on our ganache. Turn your heat to medium high and into your pan pour 300 milliliters of heavy cream. While the cream is heating, finely chop 300 grams of dark chocolate. Pop your chocolate into your mixing bowl. Once you see the steam is starting to come off of your cream and you can see the bubbles starting to come up underneath the surface, that's when your cream is ready. Turn off your heat and pour it over your chocolate. You can mix this by hand, but I'm going to put it on my stand mixer as we're going to whip it up later. This is my favorite part, when the heat from the cream starts to melt the chocolate and it turns into this beautiful glossy chocolate pool. This is when I like to stir it so that it releases some of the heat, but you can just as easily let it cool in the fridge until it firms up about an hour. Don't they look amazing? Once your ganache has chilled and is pretty firm, you're going to turn the speed up as high as it will go so that it starts to whip and create that beautiful soft frosting. You'll know it's done when it starts to lighten in color. I'm going to spoon the creamy ganache frosting into a piping bag with a star tip to make a pretty little nest for our cupcakes. Starting from the center, pipe in circles until you've covered the entire top of the cupcake. Then place a couple of mini eggs on top, and I like to add a few extra sprinkles just for decoration. So much for watching. If you're looking for a more traditional Easter treat, check out my hot cross buns here and make sure to hit that subscribe button here. Please give us a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below and we'll see you next time.